Welcome, everyone, to the Super Boob Tube Dudes podcast. I'm your host, Dante Serechia, and along with me is uh, my co-host and uh, podcast buddy, Tyler Hoskins. Hello, hello, hello. How you doing, Tyler? Oh, not too bad, not too bad. All right. Still doing those those renovations on yeah. the house. Oh, we're yeah. just starting. Yeah, we, we're uh, about two-thirds of the way done the ceiling now. So. Oh, oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Or are you like... Uh, like, what are you actually doing to the ceiling? Uh, like, it's a, like a suspended tile system. It's a, oh, yeah? Yeah, so instead of doing like a th- regular suspended ceiling in the basement or a tiled ceiling, it's more of a, it's kind of a mix. So it is, oh, interesting. It's really easy to put up. Cool. Yeah. Uh, easy is good. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. I'm, I'm ahead of schedule uh, by a couple days now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, uh, this week has been kind of a light week, right? <laughs> yeah, it was a light week. There was only four comic book superhero-ish shows on this week. We, we had Gotham, Lucifer, uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. returned, and uh, Legends, which has right. taken a hiatus this week. Uh, oh, Legends is, yeah, I think, Le- to kind of catch up with everything else, yeah, right? Yeah, Legends is off this week. Uh, we get Supergirl back tonight, so that's good. Right. There's no Legends, huh? Not No Legends for this week. Okay, yeah. cool, cool, yeah. cool. That's that's good to know. Um, yeah, there's... Well, we had no Flash and no Arrow uh, and... and I'm so, two more weeks, Supergirl. two more weeks before we get that back, which is... Yeah, it's crazy. So we have a week... Uh, I guess the, there's only one episode that we're going to see before the week of the crossover. Yes. Uh, I mean, uh, we were totally expecting uh, <laughs> two weeks of you know of more, of more shows. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, from the last episodes we were talking about. Exactly, so, that's just exactly. it's pretty interesting that we're just going, just going right to it. Yeah, we're jumping straight into it next week. Is it next week? Yeah, well... Well, no, 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 no. no. Weeks, we're not weeks. jumping... Yeah, we're not jumping into the uh, the the crossover right away. Where you know we're going into it's, it's there's going to be a super. Well, are we? No, no, because the twenty eighth is the yeah, crossover. Yeah, we got we got two more weeks. So tonight so, and next week, and then. Yeah, the, well, this week with Supergirl, we're going to have two episodes before the crossover, and then with Flash and Arrow, Arrow isn't really doesn't count. But I mean, with Flash, it'll be one episode before the crossover. Right. So that, that's pretty good. Um, Oh yeah, because the tra- tra- uh, trajectory episode. Yes, uh, that looks very interesting. I've, I've yeah, heard. with uh, uh, Jesse Quick, that'll be pretty cool. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, why don't we talk about uh, Lucifer first? All right. Um, <laughs> I really like this episode. Uh, I, was... I really like this episode too. It was pretty yeah. awesome. It was definitely probably the best episode so far of the series. Yeah. Um, it, it's it just keeps getting better and better and better. Uh, so basically, he's like, he, he, his wings were stolen, and at first he wasn't gonna work with this case, you know, with uh, with his partner, and and then they end up, she end up kind of like, you know, feeling like sympathy for him because of this like stolen uh, this thing is stolen from him. So they <laughs> they go after the wings, even though she's kind of like. I don't believe you, but I'll help you but, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll put it out an APB on these things, even though I think you're lying. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, very funny. I like how she, uh, how, how she's kind of like, uh, you know, doesn't doesn't know what's going on or doesn't care and, or believe, and then all of a sudden it's like, uh, yeah, so this is kind of interesting. But yeah. then with that the whole uh the, the auctioneer guy and having those those fake wings oh my god that was such a great twist i love that yeah the fake wings was a pretty good pretty good spin i'm like this is way too easy they found this guy super quick and yeah. he just happens to be auctioning them off and and they work their way in i'm like seriously this is how this is going to go down so i it would have been kind of Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. It, it would have been a it would have been a letdown if it was if that was the way it was going. But oh, uh, totally! I would have been like, they found it that fast. It was like yeah. crazy. But then the other twist. I mean, when he when he's talking to uh, Amenadel, and and he just 
but under the wings, I was like, what? Yeah, Just that, cutting that out of his life. That was great. Yeah, that threw me for a loop. I'm like, what? He did what? Yeah. <laughs> Big what the fuck moments right there. <laughs> now, now, my question is, did he really burn? Did he burn the real wings or did he burn the fake wings? Uh, I'm going to say he burned the real ones because yeah. at the end, Maze had that like last feather. So I don't think he would have he would have been able to trick her because she's really kind of looking into you know his affairs. So uh, I think he actually did. I mean that's just my opinion, um, but uh, I I really think like it, it's been a really big emotional thing for him like the the wings and like the thievery yeah. and the gift you know from God and just remembering that you know. Uh, that he was an angel and everything, and it, it's just it really cut his ties to the like the position that you know, quote unquote, God gave him or whatever, right? Right. So, so he's like, I'm done. He's like, I don't want to go back. I don't want to be, you know, you know, I, not that he doesn't want to be the devil, but it's like I don't want to be the you know the leader of the damned and you know the the torturer of all souls and stuff. He's just like, I just want to be on Earth and just kind of hang out and yeah, do what I'm true. doing. So I just I don't know. It just seems to me that he's really cutting ties like completely. Yeah. With uh, with that whole realm and everything, even if Amenadel is gonna beat his ass or whatever, he just doesn't care anymore. Yeah. And I was... think he's kind of really accepting this change that is going on him, or not really accepting, but like really lightly, like just finally kind of accepting this different change that's happening with him, and he's kind of turning a bit mortal, which is very interesting. Right. So, uh, I I kind of love it. I love how he's just kind of embracing this this new experience that he's going through. So, uh, it's good. It's good stuff. Uh, it's this that uh, he's a changing character, and so quick in the series. I mean, with just what seven, six or seven episodes now, he's like really, he's really changing. Yeah, and it's not just like oh, it was the same guy for the whole season, and in season two they pick up with some cool story. It's like this is all happening in season one. Yeah, that's exactly. what's so cool about the yeah. show because it's it's just like it's it, every episode is different. Every episode he's learning and he's adapting and he's becoming something new, and you can kind of see that in him, even if he doesn't see it very much himself, and even uh, the therapist sees it. So it's. It's. I really like. I really like this show a lot. Yeah, it's, I think it's uh, getting better for sure. It definitely is getting better, especially with what's going on. I think. Uh, well, what, what did they show, or did you know uh, or see what was going on for the next episode? Uh, I don't. I don't think I saw it. No. I don't think there's one on today. Or is there? Yeah. Today is Monday, by the way. So I. Yeah, I don't. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if there's one on today. Oh, you know, oh, is there? I don't know. I'm not on the TV, so I don't, I don't know if there's one. Uh, one on. Today's the 14th. Yes, there is one today. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, uh, are you, oh, you're on uh, Wikipedia? Yeah, I just jumped on the IMDb's. Oh, okay. Yeah, there is yeah, one. I today. haven't checked my uh, TV Muse uh, site in a while. It uh, airs in uh, 45 minutes. Oh yeah, yeah, it'll be on here at 9 o'clock. That's good. Yeah, there's a lot. Everything, everything's on today, I think. Um, yeah, or all the Monday shows, anyway, except Supergirl. Oh, right, Supergirl no, Supergirl's is tonight. back tonight, yeah. That's right. Supergirl that's right. Gotham. Oh, Gotham, yeah. Oh, we should just talk about that. Let's um, go. Let's do it. Oh, so good. It was really good. However, I don't uh, I don't know what it was. Uh, I don't know. I, I liked it, but I didn't like something about it. Uh, I really I really dug the, the Alfred stuff and... and, and, and and the Bruce stuff, him, him trying to figure out, you know, who the who his the parents' killer were, uh, killer was, and the idea that he's him, he's training with Alfred. I think that's getting a lot, a lot harder, and I like that. Um, and just his like persistence in like I am gonna, I'm gonna find this guy and kill him, and him telling uh, 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 cat the cat girl and. Um, Selena, I thought that was pretty cool, and she yeah. kind of like you couldn't even push that guy out the window, you know. <laughs> it's like, exactly. how are you gonna kill this guy? And he's exactly. like, because he's the guy who killed my parents. <laughs> so it's like, it's, it's a lot more emotional than just like kill this random guy. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the Mister Freeze stuff, 
uh, I, don't know, I, I like the idea of the character. They pulled a lot from the animated series, like we talked about before, uh, yeah. in his origin. But then with the end, like I, I really like how they did it. But then I'm also kind of torn and sad at how, um, how she kind of killed herself. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you know, like, you know, with comic books that, like, even like. They brought him back, so right. She could be frozen somewhere, and that could be. I, I, especially I with know. how I they. Mean, but it, it, was, it was different. She she pumped a different formula into I know. her. I know, but I mean, like with the way and that she cracked, like it was like she was shattering already. So I don't know. I mean, can they piece her back together? Is that possible? Uh, I who, just who knows? I mean, do you you saw at the end of the episode, right? How. Well, yeah, he comes back, but but, but he used the right formula on no, himself. No, I, I I mean the other guys, the other the guys other... that uh, Strange has in tubes. Yeah, but oh well, I suppose. I, I'm just right? saying, like there there's there's obviously ways of bring bringing people back that are have clearly been killed. Yeah, uh, I, I guess. I mean, but. I don't know. It's a little bit too too far fetched for me yeah. to be like, oh, she she cracked up on the table and we saw it happen, and then have him piece her back. Was she gonna be like Miss, you know, the Bride of Frankenstein or whatever? <laughs> yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? All sewn up. Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, the other guys. I mean, the other guys that that have that weren't tested, but were frozen, are in the tanks. So I mean, they could come back somehow with a formula because they haven't had a formula used on them. But yeah, oh, I don't know. It's yeah. just it was just very interesting. So it's kind of it's kind of interesting that she that that she could be dead. But I like how it's his motivation now, kind of right, exactly to for revenge or whatever. But I honestly think that he should have lost his hair instead of just turned it white. I mean. That yeah. it, he should have just gone bald. The white hair doesn't look right on a Mister Freeze. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, I, you know, you, you can even you don't even have to say that you know he's not balding. I mean, but you can say that the 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 cool the cold killed his hair follicles or whatever because he's not going to need them anyway. Right. But I mean, it was, I don't know. It just looked weird. That, I mean, it's a very nitpicky, but. It just didn't didn't sit well with me when I saw that. He should have woke up bald. It would have been a little bit more shocking. Because I think the other kind of shock was like, ooh, <laughs> for me anyway. Yeah, for sure. I mean, um, it, yeah, it makes sense. But we'll we'll see what the new suit brings. Yeah. Oh, definitely. With uh, oh, man, uh, he's he's such a good actor, B D Wong as yeah, uh, as strange. strange. So it's good. ridiculous. I love it. I love <laughs> I, I love his character. He is very, very, very um, strange. I mean, no, oh, yeah, absolutely. He, it's, 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 it's perfect. I mean, even from the comics, or I mean, even though he's not like an old white or you know whatever European sort of guy, he, he's he fits the character so perfectly. Even as you know his own you know uh, Asian heritage is just it's really it's really it's really crazy weird how good he fits into that role. Um, Love and Gotham, very good. This yeah. one is supposed to be weird because this week or today is supposed to be that female Joker or whatever. Yes. You hear about that with uh, the girl who played Tank Girl? I can never remember her real name. Um, but yeah, she was also in. Yeah last season of Orange is the New Black. Oh, that's right. Oh, what is yeah. her name? I saw it the other day. Actually, I saw I know, it earlier I today. Her name. Uh, Lori Petty. Right, right. There you go. Um, which, the pictures look interesting. I'm glad I haven't seen any video on this episode except for like the previews of the Bruce stuff. Yeah. but That's, that, um, that's all I've seen, too. I haven't shown anything yeah. else except for a couple images. Yeah. Well, uh, what did you think of... Uh, the stuff with with uh, Gordon. Uh, it's it's an interesting turn, I think. You know, like I just it's an interesting twist for his character. Yeah, like the whole like I mean, I mean, he murdered the guy. Yeah, uh, well, 
know he's alive with yeah. you know with, with Strange, but <laughs> still, like he doesn't know that. And then right, also with the penguin in uh, in in the excuse me in the prison and yeah, like that's oh man, and like he's just he, he feels like Gordon turned on him and. And he's like telling everybody the truth. He's just yelling it out there, but no one believes him because he's in the insane asylum. Yeah, and he's gotten a little uh, batty, and that all the, the oh, treatment. and they're shocking him like that too. Oh, it's just well, I feel kind of bad for him. Yeah, it's it's a crazy treatment that's going on there. Yeah, he's he's getting it. He's getting it pretty bad. Um, I, I like that stuff. It's 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 doing pretty well. I, the show. I don't know why people are really ragging on. Uh, this show, even like right now, how people are saying it didn't come back strong or whatever, I totally oh, disagree. Yeah, I think that this, episode, these last two episodes were great. Yeah, I think this this uh, this show has come back stronger than it's been. Yeah, like, definitely. Uh, Strange has just knocked it out of the park. Oh well, yeah, with just the two episodes, he's elevated the the villainry of, of this show. Exactly. I mean, he's so secretive, and he's got the lab, and he's got the underground like. Uh, facility and it's just like what is this guy doing how long has he been here yeah um it, I, I like how it op- this episode opened with uh on in his lab underground with him coming out and after like a bloody corpse just trying to figure out how to how freeze did it right right and he's like i wasn't successful <laughs> <laughs> oh well yeah, he's uh, and he finally gets that formula, and then he's what I loved the voyeurism in that episode. It, it was great because he's just like watching Freeze do all this stuff in his like his hockey getup, yeah, <laughs> and like and he's Space giving him suit. little tricks and opening the doors for him, and it was just it was so cool. He, he's just he feels so interested. He's like, these are my rats in the cage, yeah. and I'm the doctor, like trying to figure out what's going on, and he's talking through, uh, talking to him through the. Uh, the the speaker system and uh, I thought that was really good stuff. Uh, that that's what really attracted me to the, to the episode. It was like he's watching him, like we're watching him, and it, <laughs> it was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it was great. Um, and so no Supergirl uh, that that week. No. Nope. So what else did we have? Uh, um, Shield came oh, back. Oh well, let's talk about Agent Carter then. I watched oh, yeah, the, I watched sure. the last oh, episode watched... of Agent Carter. Okay, that was pretty okay. good. Yeah, I I liked how it ended. Uh, yeah, I did too. Um, well, but what was the guy that the, the guy that ended up getting shot at the end? Of, well, I can't remember his name. Ever. Jack. Jack. Okay, no, that's an easy name to remember. So that was like, what the fuck? Yeah, that was I. So this is this is where I was last week with uh, they they wrapped it up very nicely, but at the same time, it was holy shit. There's stuff what, to continue. What, yeah. What's what's happening here? So. Yeah. Uh, so so they, I mean, what do you who do you think that could have been? Uh, it Hydra for sure, but I don't know who. Oh man! I think it's I think it's somebody that we haven't seen in Agent Carter before. Oh, okay. You you don't think it's someone? I it's think it might be somebody we've seen. we've seen in a movie. Maybe a movie, or maybe Shield. Um. Hmm. But it's it's hard to say. I'm. You know. Uh, that's actually kind of an interesting point. Um, who's the guy, uh, Powers Booth, the, the actor, who does he play in S.H.I.E.L.D. who's like, um, I mean, he's kind of a government sort of official, the guy who's kind of like uh, uh, housing and treating uh, Ward right now, or Hive, as he calls himself. Oh, oh yeah, I know. The guy who's kind of like, the, it, I mean, it totally could be uh, that character or a character like him. Absolutely, yeah. Somebody that is higher up in Hydra now. That, right, yeah, that right. Makes, very high up, yeah. That does make sense for sure. Um, that's that's kind of cool. I mean, he, uh, we'll see if we get another season, but uh, uh, it was it, it was a pretty good episode. I like the end. Uh, the whole, uh, the, they open the singularity again or whatever it is, um, the zero matter portal. Yeah. And... And then they trying to they're trying to save uh, the guy from going through, and then they get the the car stuck in there, and it shuts it down. Um, that was pretty good. Uh, the, I like I like the ending with Souza and, and Agent Carter kind of getting together. That was nice. Yeah, uh, a long time coming, especially after um, um, what's his name uh, Welks 
uh, after that whole relationship kind of fizzled and yeah um but i liked how his 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 turn back to the to the light side was was kind of good i mean it was just like zero matter was messing him up and then it finally got expelled from his body and it was like it wasn't taking him over anymore right and uh but i i, I thought it was really cool how it changed um uh, whitney like it, it just made her like super smart yeah i think she was I think she was pretty clever to begin with, but it is yeah, I I mean, not like it. math yeah. equation smart like she was, you know, like before. I mean, because she was just an actress, remember? Well, if you remember earlier, she was like in uh, a couple of the flashbacks and a couple of earlier episodes, she was taking apart a radio and putting it back together. So she is. Yeah, well, OK. Like, I mean, you, I guess you could say that. But I mean, that's just that's still that's that could be memorization, too. I mean, that's a acting technique or whatever yeah, like she, she's got she's got the smarts but i think it probably enhanced it yeah right right i mean that's what i'm saying like it it, it made her smarter you know definitely when yeah. it fused with her yeah for sure um but yeah she was a great character and then the ending when she saw her uh her what was her, her husband right it was her ex her ex-husband she killed yeah and she's like talking to him and oh that was creepy i was like whoa and then it was like she's in a straight jacket i thought that was yeah, pretty good I, I i i thought for a second that it would just like once it disappeared everybody came back i was sitting going hang on a second wait what and then uh it yeah was... i'm glad that she didn't die I, I like the fact that she could come back yeah um it's it's a, it's a lot more fun that way i think especially with a powerful well i mean maybe not very powerful now but still very crazy interesting character that she is right potentially be a, a, a threat as time goes on yeah and uh i mean especially if she is that madam mask character you know yeah maybe uh, that i mean i, I kind of like the idea of that uh if there was something going on like that yeah uh, i mean because it's not like we need a madam mask character in of uh, in the in the present no Marvel not universe. really i mean she's not really a giant a big she's more of a uh you know a hydra character and hydra seems a lot more prominent where it is now in the agent carter universe or timeline i guess i could say yeah it's 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 growing again in, in shield though um uh, well i i suppose well yeah i guess with the with ward being hive and well, with Ward, yeah, Ward being Hive and Powers Boots character, you know, uh, trying to grow Hydra with 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 him. Yeah. Um. But uh, I, I mean, and also you hear all this speculation with uh, Agent, since we're just going to go kind of right into Shield. Um, with Agents of Shield, you hear this 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 crazy talk about how uh, Agent Coulson could be a main could like turn into a main villain and just like totally change sides. Uh, I have not heard that, but that would be uh, yeah. That would be crazy. Yeah, I I, I heard uh, I don't know I, I think I even heard him say it like uh, um, uh, like his the actor actually say it. Yeah. Uh, and he was saying something about how like there might be some secret kind of villainry you know behind the scenes that we haven't seen yet but it just like it just doesn't seem he seems so good he seems like such a good character i just don't i mean he's like the most good and maybe mm -hmm. that's the thing that that could throw everybody off yeah but like i i don't know i don't i don't want to see him go bad i really don't i i i like agent colson as you know who he is yeah. but well maybe something it would be so weird for him to i mean maybe if it's not um not hydra related but just other villain related you know what i mean yeah yeah I can that see would that. be interesting but i mean like then that would be kind of like you know you got a whole an evil triangle there yeah maybe but, it's just more of a, a revenge against somebody within shield or something or he just kind of goes nuts or whatever i mean but he and he seems pretty sane right now especially after the tahiti stuff <laughs> so it's a, it's a magical place uh, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, uh, with the hand, and yeah. I mean, well, they got rid of that stupid glove. Now he can wear an yeah. actual, well, you know, he can, he can yeah, use he his real hand, a hand now. Hand, hand. 
I thought that was pretty funny. Yeah, uh, finally. But uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on. The the uh, uh, this new episode. There's, I mean, so much of this inhuman stuff. I I loved uh, Yo Yo. I thought that was Yo, yeah, she was great. A awesome character, like be able to move as fast as her heartbeat, and uh, you know, as long as she she stays in the same place, or she'll she'll come back to the same place. I thought that was really cool. Um very good idea to have her like they kind of thought she was a villain but it was just you know this is how it is with her and she's trying to do you know bring justice to her family or her brother or whatever it was right and and then they kind of recruit her i thought that was really cool i i really thought that it was good how she didn't join at the end i i love that idea i mean i i liked her enough to where it would be really cool if she did join but right. I also like the fact that they can spread out the, um, you know, spread the love with these characters and kind of like revisit them later or need them when they go to a certain location. Yeah, you know, we're like, just spreading out the team. It's, yeah, it's, so it's I mean, they're out to, there. It's an easy way not to have so many people on the show all at once, too. Oh, right, right, right. I, I thought that was that was good stuff. Um, I mean, I, I, they, they were in Columbia. And um, I liked how they had uh, the president come back and talk to Colson about bringing the Black Ops team, um, you know, behind everyone's back and kind of like keeping that a secret. Um, Mac getting kidnapped by, by Yo-Yo was cool. Yeah. Um, what do you think about that ending with... Uh, or what do you think about the Simmons and, uh, and Fitz stuff coming back around uh yeah it was i think it's i think it's good i'm glad they're finally coming around to each other again and right going that's okay let's let's start over i think that's a really good idea too i mean it feels natural i mean they've kind of they've had so much time uh like apart and all this craziness and her being gone for however many months she was gone and like how many how many months was she gone again oh i don't remember but it was a long time was it long or was it just longer for her it might have just been longer for her but i'm not entirely sure it was like 18 months or something but it was only like two or three months for them i don't know i can't remember that's interesting that's a good thing to, to try and figure out yeah we should look that uh, up for next week uh yeah so uh, I love the idea of the Tahiti machine with um, who who is that kid? Um, that was <clears throat> Von Strucker's kid. Oh right, 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 Baron Von Strucker's kid. So that that was good. That was the group trying to get the information out of his head. Yeah, they're trying to get information on Malik. That, oh yeah, Malik. That's Powers Booth's character. Yes, yeah, yeah, that that was that was good stuff. Um, and then what? You, so I'm not very. Really, uh, I didn't read Secret Warriors all the way through. So I mean, the comic book. I know they're kind of sticking to it a little bit with the Hive stuff. So uh, what did you think about um, the sand sort of or whatever it was that Ward was turning into to absorb that guy or whatever? Oh, I really well, didn't know what he was doing. Yeah, exactly. Was what like, was he doing? We don't really know what yeah. he was doing. So uh, uh, I'm interested. I'm interested to see what the heck happened there. Like I don't uh, want. I'm just interested to see more of his power. Yeah, I don't want to speculate on anything because mm-hmm. we saw half a second of what he can do. Right, I have a feeling we're gonna see a lot more of it. Yeah, I uh, think he's just ta- he's just taken in what's uh, what's going on with with the world and and what's what's happened since he's been gone. Like as right. the, yeah, the hive, hive character, or that that being has been on that that other planet or whatever for so long. Right. Um, it's a, he seems, he seems so intelligent, but so dangerous. It's, it's kind of scary. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm excited to see where that goes for sure. Cause I'm, I'm glad uh, that they uh, didn't kill ward off. I was, I was worried about that at the end of it. Me too. He's such a good character. Um, like they I killed saw him once in real life. The the character, uh, oh, yeah? uh, what's his name, Brett Dalton or whatever. Yep. Yeah, um, I like I I know they killed Ward off, but they they haven't removed the the actor. 
Right, right, right. So. Yeah, I like him too. He's he's a pretty good actor. I mean, I I honestly didn't think he was the greatest actor when the first when the season when the series first started, but he has uh, unbelievably grown in his acting abilities. But yeah, like if if you uh, go back and rewatch the first season, knowing that the Hydra twist is coming, it all makes sense. Yeah, like, you, yeah, I suppose. I guess they they really planned it out. Yeah, like I it guess. was well, for sure all planned out. Like you saw it there, and I was like, okay, yeah, because I, I rewatched a few episodes. And I was like, okay, this makes it, sense. It, it makes more sense. It makes that way. way. It makes way, way way more sense. Interesting, interesting. I might have to check that out. Um, like even, yeah, I, really, I really did like Ward, and I liked his turn, like to the to you know to Hydra. I thought that was great. But then it was just like, oh, man, I hate him now. <laughs> yeah, and, and really, he was Hydra the whole time, right? Yeah, yeah, well, I, that's what I mean, but like his reveal, I guess. Oh, sure, yeah. Um, Such a bad man. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yup. So much killing. <laughs> so good, so good. Especially with the, uh, the, the, the life model decoys and... Yeah. That underground, uh, the underground bunker, and then killing the, killing the, the the agents that were outside the door. It was like pop, pop in the head. That one episode uh, last season. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, my God, it was just like he is so evil. He's just murdering everybody he comes in contact with. Yup. Uh, I mean, it was interesting because uh, I mean he wasn't in. I mean he was in a lot of the episodes last season, but then there were lots of episodes that he wasn't in. Which was cool. Uh, it, it was it was kind of good to get a break from him as like the villain for the show, but yeah, for he sure. was uh, he was he was missing for for so many episodes last season. Yeah. Um. What what what's the other show? Is that is that it? And we got legends to talk about. Oh yeah, very very good episode. Um, why don't you go ahead and start and talk about what's going on there? Well, uh, we find ourselves back in the 50s. Yeah, it was uh, a Joe Dante episode. Yeah. So we find ourselves back in the 50s, 58, I believe. And uh, it's it's titled Night of the Hawk. Uh, mm-hmm. And, and um, uh, Ray and Kendra uh, buy a house. They got settled. Well, in. right. That was so weird. Everything was kind of progressing so fast in the fifties. Yeah, it was. It was. A, it was a. It was a pretty funny episode. Like everybody just doing instead of going right out there and going after Savage right away, it was kind of like covert operations. Very yeah. Uh, until they their time out a little bit. Un- until Savage knocked on their door and said, "Welcome to the neighborhood." <laughs> that was so weird. I was like, "Did he know? Do you think he knew right away?" Oh yeah, like he he she was? he knew who she was, right? But she was trying to not recognize him. Right, right, right. No, I know that. Yeah, right, she, like she was... didn't know if he knew or not. She was just trying to play along. Yeah, he knew for sure. He was just okay. I think he was playing that. Oh, I found her now. She doesn't really realize who she is yet. Mm-hmm. So she was blah blah blah. <laughs> right so because he she wasn't with um uh what's his name <sighs> she wasn't with carter right carter yeah right. right so it's like okay they're not together so they haven't found each other so they don't know who who they really are yada yada right right that make that makes a lot of sense yeah uh what do you think about the 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 race stuff and and um I, I think stuff. Yeah, I think I they, played that, yeah, they played that out. Yeah, they played that out. Yeah, they played that out very well. Uh, I, I <laughs> they really, really did. It's one of the best like representations, like comedically, but then also seriously, and uh, just just written in story wise. I thought it was handled very well. Yeah, it was it was perfect. I don't think they could have done a better job with that. Like it was, yeah. it wasn't over the top, and it was it was just right. You know, like. Right, yeah, it wasn't like in your face, in your face. It was just like, this is how these characters are acting, and yeah. this is how this character is acting from a different time. Yeah, and it's and the it, 1950s. It, just, it so worked like... really good, yeah. It worked really, really well. Uh, especially with all this, 
Oh, and all the craziness, the kids being taken by these bird things and yeah. Vandal Savage with the meteor juice. <laughs> it was just like, so holy wild. Crap. It was, it felt like a, a really, really, really old X Files episode. Yeah, it, it kind of did. That's right? what I like, the, I like about Joe Dante because uh, he did like episode. he did like movies of, uh, he did The Howling, he did Gremlins 1 and 2. So he's done that monster stuff. So he yeah. has that. He's got that pedigree, you know, of, of uh, you know, the history of doing, you know, films and and stuff of that nature. So it worked really well for him, especially with the whole um, 1950s and uh, bringing those characters back to that kind of time. It kind of, it worked really well with his uh, his abilities to, uh, like I said, to direct an episode. Right. Yeah. So that, that it's good. I like it. Yeah, it's it's definitely a good show. Um, I, I I understand a lot of people are kind of bitchy about the whole hawk stuff, but I mean, like it. Uh, as there was this one guy on on Facebook that I was friends with, which I'm not anymore because he was just a, uh, a, a a hawk apologist and just like the he the super hawk fan that just he was just in everyone's face about it, and. He was just bagging on the show, and because he's not getting the hawk that he wants, I'm like, it's the only hawk on television, and right. you're gonna bash on it because you don't like it. You, you know, it just I don't understand why people can't accept, uh, you know, what they're given, uh, and kind of roll with it. They just have to bash on everything. It's, just, it's they're giving you at least a piece of what you want. Why can't you just kind of yeah. give them the benefit out a bit? You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. It's like, it's like, it's like the Spider-Man in, in the, uh, you know, uh, the Captain America Civil War trailer. It's just like, you're finally getting Spider-Man in the universe and you're going to, you're going to complain yeah. about Spider-Man. Oh. <laughs> you know? It's the internet. It's, that's what people do, right? It's so, <sighs> it's a bunch of bullshit, but like, really, I mean, honestly, it, my personal opinion, especially with, you know, with what Hawkman is, and uh, who the character is, and how he is in the comics, and and the acceptability of him in the comics, I know there's a lot of fans, and I know he's he's a really cool character, but honestly, his books get canceled all the time. He's really kind of he's not really hard to write, but there's not very much you can do with him, you know. They've yeah. done pretty much almost all they can do with Hawkman. I like the Hawk Girl stuff because she's an added, you know, member of the team. She's the one with the least uh, abilities and least amount of knowledge of the culture and of the, you know, years that she's experienced. So she has a lot more to kind of go off of. Right. But like with the Hulk, with Carter Hall and just himself and the relationship, the relationship is. You can't just have them be married and happy all the time. I mean, you need the conflict. That's what makes a TV show. Exactly. So, like, I, it, I, I know, I understand, you know, Hawkman's cool and all, but, like, he's not, you can't really do much with him. I mean, he's there, and he's cool for a little bit, and, you know, he does his thing, and he's with Shiara or not, and then, you know, he's dead or reincarnated or whatever, but... There's, there, he's very limited to what, what, what I, I mean, at least I, from what I think. And I'm not, you know, right. I'm not a TV writer or <laughs> you know, anything like that. But I mean, they did, a, they did a lot with his character. And for someone to be so unhappy, like this one guy I was talking to was, was just like, come on, dude. Like, really? You're going to be that, that, you know, pained. <laughs> it just didn't, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I hear me. you. Yeah, but uh, I'm I'm digging the show. I, I like what they did. I, I like the the relationship. She's kind of grown, growing a little bit, and I, I like how it's just not. It seems like it's episode to episode, but there's so much time between episodes sometimes, unless it's like a to be continued kind of thing. Right. So there is development that we're not seeing that people don't understand as well that they kind of need to, especially with TV shows. I mean, unless you're getting a to be continued or where we left off kind of episode, like this one, there's time where they're floating through space or where they're traveling through time or where they're get they're they're gathering intel and you know, uh, resting. Yeah, or, it's, it's kind of uh, like Star Trek. 
Yeah, so I mean, they're, they're, it's not just like boom, 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 time, time, time. They would be so burnt out. <laughs> so like, they're, there's a lot of stuff that they're that they're that they're doing that they're not showing. Uh, that would be boring if they showed, but they they need to, you know, their characters need to, you know, need to go through. So uh, I, I kind of like how they're still growing um, uh, together as a team. Uh, as well as you know, getting into the action when they do. So, what do you think happened to to Roy? What the hell? Is he just frozen, or is he dead? Because they mentioned, a uh, Jackson mentioned that he killed him. Is he dead or what? I, I have no idea. Like, and it's it's such a cliffhanger. Yeah. That I you just you don't know what what just went down. Like he got shot, but he got back up. And exactly, ran away, saying, but, but I mean, like he he got shot with the the ice gun, and one thing about the ice gun which kind of ticks me off is that can we see a guy just like get frozen instead of just get knocked back or something? Sure, like a more of you a Mister I mean? Freeze I mean, style. Like, he's freaking Captain Cold. I mean, he, I mean he's not. He's pretty much the same guy as Mister Freeze, but a different sort of character. I mean, or at least the weapon is the same kind. So. It's just, uh, it just, it just kind of bugs me where it's just like, oh, the fire, it's scary. Yeah, or the I... old ice is not freezy, but it's just a blast that kind of shoots you back. Yeah. It, so it just, it's just interesting to me, and it, it just bugs me a little bit. Well, to, may, to maybe, see. maybe uh, he'll get Cisco to make him a new gun that freezes people. <laughs> right, right, yeah. Um, but I mean, I like, yeah, I mean, Mick is, who knows. Yeah, uh, like we we actually I hope no he's I, not dead. I kind of don't think he would be, but oh uh, man, it's and, uh, uh, we've got to wait a couple weeks to to know. Yeah, maybe yeah, we do. Oh yeah, because there's not one on this week, huh? You said there's not one this week or next week. Oh crap! Really? We're back on March thirty first. Oh my god, so yeah. wow, they're taking two weeks off. And um, uh, we got left with a pretty big cliffhanger at the end. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, they left, uh, they uh, left Ray, Ray and Sarah, and Kendra. Uh, Professor Stein, and yeah. yeah. Oh, Stein, Stein's on the, on the Wave Runner. Oh, so wait. Stein oh, and Stein Jackson, a... Stein and Jackson are together, so they can go get together but it was uh ray sarah and kendra oh right 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 that's right the husband and wife ray and kendra and then uh and yeah, sarah was sarah. coming back from her her fling right right with the with the nurse that was i, I liked her her kind of building relationship with that i thought that was pretty good too yeah um that's crazy because they i mean they obviously they wouldn't think they would leave them on purpose. So I mean that's kind of how yeah I mean, exactly I like what just went them. down. So like something happened to something, something had to happen. So freaking Kronos man, like seriously, that guy does not give up. No, like he just pops up and <laughs> it's like really here I am, guys. Oh man, uh, but uh, I would I want to see who's under that mask. Do you think that there is there are many Kronos, or is there just one and he's the bounty hunter? Do you think there's just a guy in that suit uh, that's know. just oh, like that's Boba Fett, or do you think there's many of him? Like it's more of a soldier race. Kind of like, but they're only sending one at a time because huh. he's going. Or, or I mean, because remember his ship got messed up the last time they met him. Right. Do you think maybe? I mean, ah, no, I, I think guess he could be just one guy. I think it it's, just, more, it's yeah. probably just the one guy, but it probably yeah. has something to do with Rip's uh, backstory. Oh well, yeah, they already said that, right? They said that he's after Rip because Rip is breaking the Time Master's law. Yeah, but I mean, like he's 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 more he's like more of a more of a personal thing with Rip than just that. Oh, oh, that's that's where oh. I'm going. Like it's more than just against the Time Masters. It's like there's a personal vendetta there. Huh? With the actual with whoever Kronos oh, is. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, I guess we'll. I'd like to see more of that. Uh, yeah. We haven't seen more much of Kronos except for him kind of going after him. Yeah, going and, gun crazy. Uh, a little, a little trigger happy. 
Yeah, he's just like blasting everything. Uh, I, I I like the character though. I thought I think I think he's pretty good. Agreed. Um, agreed. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't have my uh, picks of the week this week. Oh man. Um, but uh, it's been crazy this past week. Yeah, fair, fair <laughs> enough. But I mean, I I could I could totally wing it. So if if you want to go ahead and 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 well, rock some off, so uh, I'll, I'll go uh, I'll do mine, and then we can get into a little bit of news. Sure. Uh, so my my best fight of the week, uh, I think, was uh, from Agents of Shield with uh, Daisy and Yo Yo at the end there, with the crazy eyes. Oh yeah, yeah. that guy was crazy. He had the gold eyes that were yeah. freezing everybody. Yeah. So that, wait, the two uh, of them actually, working, two of them that working together. Probably was the best fight of the week. I think that was the best fight of the week. There wasn't because otherwise there wasn't. Other than the the Kronos fight at the end of Legends, it was like that yeah, was, that was kind of boring though. Yeah, it was just shooting up. Yeah. Um, and there wasn't really any big fight or anything with uh, Lucifer. I mean, unless you want to count him with Amenadel on the beach, but that's kind of like, yeah, it was kind of one sided. Others squabbling. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm going um, mo- most heroic character. I'm picking Yo Yo. Oh, that that's pretty good. Yeah, with the uh, you trying to bring justice to her brother, even yeah. though he got killed. Yes. Um, and then and then say no to joining the team at the end, but if you need my help, I'll be here, sort of deal. Like that was, that's pretty yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm gonna agree with you on that one too. I, I I did like her character a lot. I would really like to see more of her down the line. Uh, badass villain. This this is I see you only got a little bit of hive. And mm-hmm. that that was pretty badass, but I think I'm gonna have to go with Mr. Freeze. Because of uh his freeze grenades. Oh, those things were crazy. Those those were amazing. Yeah, he they were just like ice through everybody. Yeah. I thought that was really cool. That's so good. Um Oh man, it's hard to tell because I know we we give badass villain to uh, uh, to Vandal Savage a lot. Yeah, and I mean this episode it was creepy Vandal Savage villainry. Yeah, like, it was, he was pretty. Like, creepy. I'm making these hawk monsters <laughs> with this meteorite juice. <laughs> um, I think yeah, I think he's a little bit more of a badass villain this week than Mister Freeze was. Okay. I mean, Mister Freeze is pretty like, you know, I, I'm gonna go and. Like doing the raid through Arkham Asylum. <laughs> yeah. But I, I don't know. Making those hawk monsters and uh, it, I, I like the, the, the monster element of Yeah, of fair Legends enough, fair enough. Week. Uh, biggest feel for me was that moment in Gotham with. Uh, with yes. With, and when she swapped out the canister. And... Yeah, his wife, definitely. Oh. I remember she was. Uh, I don't know if you remember watching that show, Being Human. I don't think I ever watched it. No. On uh, uh, it was the uh, the American version on Sci-Fi because um, it was a British show as well. Mm. But it, there was the the ghost, the werewolf, and the vampire that lived together, and they were trying to like be normal. Right. Um, great show. Um, I never did watch the British one. I, I would like to watch that one though. But the 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 three or four seasons they did uh, on Sci-Fi were, or maybe it was five. They these are it was so good. Anyway, uh, she was the werewolf's girlfriend okay. in the show sweet and she's great in that show it was it was really good so i was I, I'm, I'm glad to see her or well was glad to see her <laughs> yeah, on for gotham the, for the one episode two episodes well yeah one or two episodes she was on i, I was surprised to see her face i was like ah oh, she's doing lots of different things because she's been on lots of stuff back and forth um yeah, that that is that is definitely the biggest feel of the week. Uh, I was like, oh no, they're killing her. Yeah, I wasn't expecting her to die. I'm like waiting and waiting. Like, when is he gonna put her in the tank and try and keep her frozen yeah, forever? Especially you know? when she asked for the necklace. Yeah. You're like, yeah. Yes. Right, like the necklace in the show, in the cartoon, yeah. and in you know the other movies. You always see her with that neck, with like some kind of necklace. Um. Yeah, and I. Yeah, I, 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 was... I Especially with the whole um, the whole idea. I mean, with the last episode, he was trying to, like, steal her away from the police, you know. Uh, and then with this episode, he was trying to get her back as well. 
And I was just like, man, I hope he gets her. You know, I'm on like Mr. Freeze's side. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, get, get your wife, dude. <laughs> but it just uh, did not work out. It did not work out. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm sticking with Mr. Freeze for coolest use of powers in this week. Th- those freeze grenades were ridiculous. Oh, let me think. Coolest use of powers. Yeah. Lucifer like... didn't do much with his powers. Um, then Legends. Like, Yo-Yo was pretty badass, too, but... Actually, yeah, Yo-Yo was really cool. Um, and, I mean, yeah, and then the, the, the Golden Eyes with the... Yeah, the, the, that was That, that, was, that was cool, but it wasn't like... We've seen, like, you know, people getting, like, paralyzed like that before, I guess, but... Yeah, with Mr. Freeze, he's making the bombs like with the it's a, with his you know his smarts and his technology. It, that was that was definitely pretty cool, and it was like scary. It was like, oh my god, these guys are just getting like ice spikes through them, <laughs> and uh, I, I like that. Yeah, it, and it I, was pretty good. Yeah, and I, I'm keeping Gotham with my uh, my strongest show for the week this week. It, um, it was just so up and too. down. It was just uh, so up and uh, down. Yeah, it's like, really oh. close with that and Agents of Shield because yeah. oh, I really, sure. really dug Agents of Shield this week. Um, come back for like a strong episode, uh, even though a lot of people like they said it was like the, some of the worst ratings that the show's ever had for a return. Yeah. But I liked it. I still like the show. Uh, it's it's kind of a tie for me between those two because uh, they 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 really did. Um, they really did come back strong these these two these two off seasons, for sure. And like the what the fucks or cliffhangers was definitely the wings getting burned. Wings getting burned for sure. Uh, uh, Gotham. Yo Yo's power was cool. Gotham was with cool at fun. the end with Strange and everybody in the tanks. Oh yes, that definitely. was a big what the fuck. And then the Legends cliffhanger. Yeah, everybody getting left behind and you not kn- knowing what what's happening on the. Oh. And still trying to like, what the fuck's up with Roy? That thing is still bugging me. I mean, yeah, I'm still thinking sure. about it, like, really, what are you doing? What where, what happened to this guy? They're just they're not even. I don't know. They were talking about it at the beginning of the episode, and then Jackson says that like, you killed him, and I'm like, what? He's dead? What? <laughs> yeah. It was just like. Wait a second. I need more information. <laughs> I don't know. He can't be dead. I know, right? I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe this is when we see somebody frozen. Well, maybe. Yeah. I mean, did we ever see him fro? I mean, on... on uh, He used the gun on Flash, and he was fro- freezing him a bit. Yeah. But it's just like they're not really putting any mu- the, very much effort into the actual blast. The gun, the, the freeze blast, or maybe he has it on a certain setting, maybe. so people aren't getting frozen. But who uh, knows? I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, so that news. was uh, the the picks of the week, and I promise I'll, I'll I'll get up on that next week. With I'll write those all down. Nice. This week's been crazy. I know life, and I mean, I understand if 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 you need some time with you, you're moving around and stuff too. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, just news really off the top of my head. There's not very much going on, but we have, uh, apparently there's a confirmed race between Supergirl and Flash on the crossover episode. Sweet. So, you know how they like to do that. They did one with, uh, you know, with Clark and, and, and Flash and and Smallville and yeah, uh, they've done it a couple times here and there. And so that's always fun. Um, and what else? Uh, apparently, the preacher, uh, that new show on AMC, Preacher. Uh, apparently, <laughs> that they said that uh, Tom Cruise is going to be on an episode representing Scientology or something like that. Oh. I, I assume it's going to be some weird like television news broadcast or some kind of like he'll be like some kind of wh- whatever they call the. Um, uh, guys who, who who preach Scientology, probably like a TV evangelist of some sort. Yeah, that's that's how I see him kind of appearing. I don't ever, I don't really see him being like on the show as a character, to even in just one episode. I mean, it co- totally could be, but right. 
I don't know. Um, so we have that. And that apparently that's going to show up at the after the mid season. Uh, the after the mid season finale of Fear of the Walking Dead. Okay. Okay. So it's, it'll be in June, they said. Um, or I'm sorry, wait. April, yeah, it, it, I think in June. Yeah, I think there's gonna be a lot more episodes uh, of Fear of the Walking Dead this season than last season. Okay. Um, I, I think the first season was six episodes, and I think they're giving it a lot more. But I'm not entirely sure. I'm actually gonna try and look that up right now. Um, but so we have that coming, and that's pretty cool. They just kind of released some pictures for the preacher a little bit. I think it's. Oh, I cannot wait for that show. Did you ever read that comic? I did read the comic. I'm really, oh, man, I'm really excited it. for the I, show. I'm very excited for that show. Um, let's see. We have a, another comic book show coming on soon. I think that'll start in. I think that'll also start in June. Um, it's uh, a Cinemax show, and it's going to be Robert Kirkman's Outcast. Okay. And it's like a possession like demon possession type show. Okay, right on. Uh, that they have a little tiny teaser, a couple little teasers they've done before uh, uh, online already. And it's, I cannot wait for that show, especially on Cinemax. It's going to be, it's going to be pretty damn good. Uh, so that'll be appearing. And they, and they already have greenlit a second season and the thing hasn't even aired or shown to anybody yet. That's or awesome. maybe it's shown to people like reviewers, but right. it's like it's pretty crazy uh, oh yeah so apparently Fear of the Walking Dead is going to be 15 episodes this season Ooh. so that's very interesting especially with the first season only being 6 yeah no kidding um, I gotta get myself caught up on some Walking Dead universe stuff and, I mean yeah and the, the, the Fear of the Walking Dead it starts out slow and each episode is kind of slow and building and everything so it it, it I liked it. It's a it's a good show to do laundry to. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. Good to know. Honestly, it is. Good I to guess know. I did most of the time when I watched the show. Like almost all six episodes, I was doing laundry when I did it. Nice. When I watched it, Fair and enough. it's it's really good because when it capture your attention, you you know you're stopping laundry to really watch what's going on. But Fair while enough. everyone's talking and the slow parts are happening, it's still interesting behind the scenes. But I mean. I, I, maybe that's not the most positive review about it, but it, it's still good. I like it a lot. Right. Um, and when the when the when the fast, crazy zombie stuff happens and everyone's screaming and running and shooting and stabbing, it's it's actually really entertaining. And then you can kind of go back to folding your underwear or whatever. <laughs> um, right on, right on. But no, it's it's good. I did like those six episodes, and it ended really strong. I thought, and I, I'm I don't. It's 15 episodes is a lot. So, uh, especially for, I don't know. I always thought it was going to be a small series, kind of like how Agent Carter was. But maybe it's just, you know, it's a companion show. So yeah, we'll, uh, see what we'll see how, how it goes. Maybe they'll end up somehow crossing over with other characters from The Walking Dead oh, maybe. Uh, along the way. Yeah. But well, we'll, we'll see. Could be um, fun. Could be fun. Uh, and then we got what we have... Iron Fist has been cast. Oh, yeah. Uh, Loris from Game of Thrones. Yeah, so we have that. Um, apparently, he's going to appear first in Luke Cage, which just got an announced uh, premiere date, which will be like September 30th or something like that. Cool. Um, that's cool. Uh, still not much on Luke Cage other than the addition of Iron Fist to his series before Iron Fist appears. Um, well, oh, apparently Marvel, uh, TV, they, uh, Jeff Loeb, the runner of Marvel TV said he's got like, they're working on 10 shows Oh wow! right now that are in development. So these are shows that are, I'm assuming Iron Fist is one of them and Marvel's most wanted is one of them. And then the, apparently there's supposed to be two like Marvel, like, uh, like uh, half hour comedy sitcoms or whatever perfect um 
and I'm and then I'm also going to assume there's going to be at least two animated shows and then the rest are probably like a uh, Moon Knight on Netflix and a Punisher on Netflix and then um there's some other thing in development I cannot remember uh, I posted it on the on the Facebook page one uh the other day but it was like uh it was some crazy cosmic character that um that just sounded so off the wall but it, it would be kind of cool if they actually did it to kind of bring something weird like that into the into the universe and on tv yeah um i'm gonna try and find it here oh yeah here i posted it right here uh so the 10 that i think this is i posted this on on facebook on the 12th and so the, the the ten shows that I think might be on this list are obviously Marvel's Most Wanted, I think Punisher, I think Moon Knight, obviously uh, Iron Fist is in development. I'm gonna say maybe Runaways because that would be an awesome TV show. That could be a good TV show for sure. Or even the animated show. Yeah. Um, I think The Defenders obviously counts too. Yeah. Um, because that's not gonna be a movie. That'll be a full blown TV show. And then uh, the weird obscure one that I picked with it was. Jim Starlin's De- Dread Star. And I didn't just pick this. Like, I looked this up online of what Marvel might be having, you know, working on and in development. And this came up, and I was like, what the hell is this? And Jim Starlin's is the guy who created Thanos. Right. And um, he's uh, this Dread Star character. I'm not exactly sure who he is, but. Uh, it, they said that it's kind of in development here. He's a, he's the sole survivor of the entire Milky Way galaxy. Um, da, 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 da. He's like he's got cyborg sorcerer powers or whatever. Huh. Anyway, it, it's it's crazy. He he kind of looks cool. He kind of looks like uh, he's got like a blue suit and like swashbuckler looking with like a pistol and a sword and. Uh, like a blue hood and goatee, kind of like a uh, a Green Arrow like, but I don't know. He's like in space or whatever. I, I'm I, I I have no idea if this will ever be out there, but um, it would be kind of interesting to bring some really different off the wall character like this, like in TV or or whatever. Yeah, for uh, sure, that'd be kind of cool. But um, we'll see. We'll see what's going on with that. That's pretty much it for, I mean, for news that I yeah, have right that's, now. That's that's all I got. I got nothing else to yeah. Yeah, nothing else to add. Yeah. Well, uh, we got Daredevil coming out mm-hmm. Friday. Friday. So, so we're, we're gonna do one. Be, at, we're uh, gonna that'll do... be fun. Um, we're gonna do. What do you want to do? You want to do one? Let's one do episode? Yeah, one episode a week. That way we can. Okay. Uh, yeah, we well, we'll go through. So in a in a period of thirteen weeks, we'll get through the entire second season, so everyone can have, you know, I'm sure a lot of people are going to binge. But, I'm sure a lot of people um, will binge, but a lot of people won't. So. And I probably will too. I mean, I watched Daredevil season one three times over the wow. past year. So. Nice. Um, so yeah, I mean, I really love that show, and I'll probably do the same here with this, but, uh, and I'll probably binge a lot friday and saturday night uh with uh with my girlfriend whitney but um i'm sure that uh everyone will will, a lot of people also will be waiting or spacing it out you know so they can you know because people got lives so (laughs) (laughs) um so we'll we'll go through that week by week episode to episode and uh we'll review and talk about each episode as it comes and then um, we'll, we'll we'll figure that out, and, and we'll also rate it on the show like we do. We have our rating system on our sh- on our uh, on our face on our uh, not our Facebook page on our <laughs> website, website. Um, superboobtubedudes.com, and you can go there and uh, you can rate our show. Yeah, so folks, um, you guys can you know you can send us an email. You can uh, you can you can you know, log in here on the rating system and, and uh, it's just to submit the rating at the top right corner, go in there and you just put your first name in, right? Is that right? They just put the first name in. Yep. And just put a name in. Yeah. You're good. 
and uh, just dial up to 11 or, you know, whatever you feel the rating is, 1 to 11, 1 being the lowest and 11 being, like, better Outst- than 10, like yeah. the best. Outstanding. Yeah, and that'll be a lot ever. of fun. Also, it was really cool also with news. We got every every CW show got renewed. That is true. Every single C- the CW is like, you know what? Let's renew everything. Yeah. <laughs> this like never happened before. Yeah, so I thought cool. that was kind of cool. Nothing got canceled. Um, it was all cool. early renews all too from what I understand. So, uh, I'm, it's right I'm on. excited. Cool, cool. Uh, also, The Tick is getting a reboot on uh, Amazon. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's another funny little piece of news. All right. So, wait, you didn't like The Tick? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll see what they do. Well, it's not going to be Patrick Warburton. No. Uh, so, it'll be a whole new uh, okay. a whole new cast, but apparently uh, he's helping produce it. Hilarious. So, so he's uh, he's got his uh, his tentacles in in the door. <laughs> nice, amazing. All right. But uh, so yeah, that's that's pretty much our show, uh, guys. And like I said, we're on Twitter, um, S Boob Tube Dudes, and we're on Amazon. Or Amazon, goodness gracious. Um, <laughs> we're on Instagram uh, at uh, Super Boob Tube Dudes, just like the website and Facebook. And you know, shoot us a line, and we'll we'll try and get back to you. And uh, you know, go ahead and rate the shows on the show. All right. So uh, until next time, uh, keep on tubing, guys. Thanks. <laughs>